Okay, now we're going to add some uncertainties, some error bars to this plot. So we have the plot. If you go to chart layout, you will find on both the Mac and PC version something called error bars here. And we can go to error bar options, select cap, both, and OK. Now what it's done here have a look here, error bar options, is it's giving everything a fixed value of 1. So there are some, depending on what your scale is here, these error bars look very big or might be too small to even see. Um, the default is it's handling the Y error bars. To handle the X error bars, click on an X error bar, close that. And now it's giving us the X error bars. Click on a Y error bar, and it'll give us the Y error bars. Now, in this particular case, we have uncertainties in um, we have uncertainties in Y. Let's move up and see what the axis is. So this is uncertainty in the vertical axis. So let's take the X axis and get rid of them. Hit the Delete button, and now go to the Y axis. Out of our options, and we want to go for some custom values because they're not all the same. If all our uncertainties were the same, if everything had a value of something, you'd just type it here, or if everything had a certain percentage. But our uncertainties, we actually know what we actually know what they are. They're listed on here, which is normally the case in physics. So we'll specify value. It allows you to give separate upwards and downwards error bars. So let's do the upwards ones. Select that range. And for the downward ones, get rid of what's already in there, and once again, select that. In this case, they're both the same. Okay. And we have our uncertainties.